Hey, what's happening, everybody? It's your old pal, Mr. Butter, coming back at you. I'm shooting this on the day that the Jordan 7 in the Chambray colorway dropped. I grabbed a pair from Finish Line, and I want to get into them with y'all. If you're into kicks and you feel like hanging out, then hit that subscribe button. Let's take a look at these Jordan 7s. All right, so like always, we'll start with the box. Nothing really out of the ordinary or unique to cover here. We've seen this box a million times before. It's got the flip top lid. The tag reads Air Jordan 7 Retro. The colors are listed as black, chambray, and light graphite. I think I'm saying that right. There's a look at the tag. I got a size 10 and a half. I can go with a size 10 or a 10 and a half. Sixes and sevens, I do all right if I go true to size, but typically I'm so used to asking for a 10 and a half in Jordan Retros, so that's just what I grabbed. They didn't do early access for these. They didn't do early access ship to me or early access to reserve a pair in the store. I asked about signing up in the store earlier in this week and they said they weren't even going to raffle them because they didn't anticipate there being real high demand for these. And I think they were right. I don't know if anybody else had grabbed a pair of these yet today, but they have multiple sizes sitting on shelf. Retail on these was $200. And like always, if I can grab them from finish line, I will because I always have status rewards I can use. All in with tax and everything, I was around 195 something like that, because I used a bunch of status rewards. So I spent less than 200 including tax, all in for these. And then getting into it, I think these are pretty decent. Typically, I would gravitate towards a lighter colored shoe. All black shoes aren't what I find myself going for if I have my pick. But, you know, there hasn't been a whole lot dropping lately and blue is my favorite color i guess they call this chambray it's almost like if university blue or powder blue had just a hit of like lavender in it and i don't know it, it's it's a nice shade of blue and it looks nice along with these graphite or these gray accents i really like how the back looks that design on the heel that's always been one of my favorite things about sevens as well as all the lines that you get on the tongue it's like a tribal kind of print but i think in these colors it looks real good and then you get the air jordan in that chambray or light blue color and i just think those colors go together really well the light blue gives it just enough pop i'm glad that it has that blue on it because otherwise it probably wouldn't be a shoe that i would wear but it's just a nice little hit of color and i really like what that does for the shoe i always love the way the outsole on sevens and sixes looks but i just like the way that all the lines are and then you have all these circles but again i think these colors go together really well and it's just a cool looking shoe these did come out once before this isn't the first time that we've seen this colorway i think they came out in the early 2000s this is the first that i've ever owned a pair of these and i didn't grab these thinking like oh i have to have them i just wanted to have some content for the channel i do think that they look pretty nice though I will say that looking at the ones on the shelf, I saw a lot more QC issues than what I did on this pair. So I would advise you to look at the pair that you're getting if you can. It's always best to look at the shoe if you can because obviously Jordans are known to have some QC issues. The paint isn't the cleanest, but the upper looks a lot better than what the pairs did that I saw on shelf in the store. So just be mindful of that. Anytime you have an all suede upper like this black material, that will really show glue stains or smudges or just imperfections and that sort of thing. I do think that this pair looks pretty good compared to the other pairs that I've seen. But getting into the review, like I already said, I love this outsole and I think it looks great in these colors. Just the gray, white, black, and then that light blue. I think it looks awesome. Of course, we've got the Jumpman on the heel. 
in that blue color but then coming up from that outsole we can see the same colors that we saw in the outsole for the midsole areas and we have some painted foam accents there again we get those pops of blue and a little hit of that graphite or gray color the paint isn't the cleanest but again i think this pair looks a lot better than the other pairs that i saw in store i don't know if you can see on camera or not but the lines aren't really sharp on the paint and it kind of looks like the blue went further than what it was supposed to on this other foam area but all in all i think they look pretty decent it's not like the qc is so bad that i wouldn't wear them or anything and again i think this pair definitely looks cleaner than the other pairs that i've seen in hand coming to the upper of the shoe of course it's a seven so it's got the same shape the same overlays that we always see on sevens it's an all black suede it feels like it's just a nice short haired suede it's not real soft or anything but you actually do get some back and forth motion on it it's not the best feeling material but i like it and it's nice and dark sometimes whenever you get suede for the whole upper it'll look faded right out of the gate and these don't have that look they are nice and dark and again that makes that blue color just really pop off of there so i think these came out pretty good i'm not upset with how these came out i really like this embroidered accent for the jump man in the blue color really pops off of there and like i said before i love this design on the back that has the 23 I like those colors together and I just think that's a cool accent. Then the heel tab is just like a gray, it's like a seat belt material, just a loop like we're used to getting on sevens, but that looks nice too. The tongue is a standard tongue like we always get on sevens, so it kind of feels like a neoprene kind of material. It's got all these perforations in it and sevens usually do feel pretty breathable to me but because these are black i don't know that i would wear them in the summertime like i just think my feet would probably get super super hot so i don't know if for me this is really a summertime shoe unless it's like nighttime or something like that then at the top of the tongue we still have more of that neoprene material and we have more of that design like we see on the outsole and like we see on the back here but it's just got that cool tribal design with the gray, black, and then the blue Air Jordan branding. Looks nice. Then the back of the tongue is more of that chambray color. And it's in that nice satiny neoprene kind of material. As well as behind your heel, it's got more of that material. And these do have that kind of sock-like feel. Almost like a Hirachi or something like that. I do like the way that sevens kind of lock down onto your feet whenever you wear them. These came with black laces already in the shoe. It didn't come with any spares, but I would just leave them black anyway. I think those look nice. Here's a look at that inner sock that we get. And really that does secure your feet down pretty well. I do like that feature that we get on sevens. I know that was a pretty quick look at these. I like them. Is this a must for my collection? No, this isn't one that, you know, oh, I have to have. This isn't like grail status or anything, but I think this pair looks good. Like I said before, I did see some QC issues on some of the pairs that I saw in store. So if you're able, then definitely check out your pair before you get it. I would suggest being patient. I wouldn't go out and pay resell on GOAT or something if your local store doesn't have them. I think this is probably a shoe that will drop below retail price and you might even be able to find them on sale at like some boutique sites and that sort of stuff so i would be patient unless you need these immediately for you know some occasion you got coming up then you might want to grab them immediately but i think being patient with these would probably pay off because i bet you'll be able to grab these for a little bit under retail at least let me know what you all think about these i definitely think it's a decent looking retro but it's just funny because now shoes are so much easier to get so i really would recommend being patient if you didn't get these today for retail i would just be patient and you'll probably be able to grab a pair for less than retail but anyhow i appreciate you all watching tremendously i hope you have a wonderful day and i'll catch you on the next one i'm out